make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today with this video. So what we have sitting behind us is the completed project YZ250F. So thank you everyone for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So we have the Project YZ250F completed here for us. So as you've seen, if you follow the channel, we did, we did purchase this as a complete machine. Everything was already here. It looked absolutely amazing when I bought it. Picked it up for a really good deal. So it is all back together, all cleaned and all assembled. So it does look super sleek and super shiny because I hit it with some of that SC1 spray. I mean, it's like a silicone spray. It, look, it makes everything look amazing. So what we've done basically was we've rebuilt the bottom end. The cases were completely blown open. As I've talked through this, I'm going to try to show some videos or some pictures. But the cases were completely blown open and everything was destroyed. So we got some new cases and put everything back inside of it. We built it up. It would put the factory cylinder back on had to buy one of those because the cylinder was destroyed by the broken rod so we put a factory cylinder back in and originally i put the factory piston back in so the factory piston is a higher compression i think it's a 1351 and i had purchased one off of ebay but it wasn't the higher compression so i put the factory one back in that came from the damage motor and it ran for literally two minutes then the kicker wanted to get a little bit stiffer on me so i went ahead and just took that out bought a pro x high compression piston for the 2008 put that in there and it fires up absolutely amazing we have topped it off with new fresh fluid have done an oil change to it it looks absolutely amazing yeah it looks good I was going to put a new number plate on it but i decided not to it's kind of one of those small things that i really didn't think it was really like necessary and because it has a small crack in it but that's nothing crazy you're gonna see that crack when i come around it here in a little bit what i did do to just make it look a little bit better is i powder coated the clutch side cover here put white for the yamaha powder coated the heat shield the whole motor and all the cases have been soda blasted the slip-on was destroyed when i purchased it so they also gave me a 450 slip-on so i put the 450 slip-on on here on the mid pipe for the 250 put the 450 slip on on powder coated it and put the tip on it looks really good well the tip has some damage but the whole the whole fix the whole repair looks a lot better than what it did before it's got a new filter new oil the carburetor has been cleaned and everything has been replaced that needed to all the jets have been blown through on this side here i did put some blue anodized window timing window covers also we powder coated the shifter black and this side clutch side cover but let's just go ahead and get a quick walk around of the machine and see what we're dealing with oh yeah it looks really good so yz250f this is a little crack I was talking about, or medium crack or whatever, here in the front plastic, but I'm not even going to worry about that. Overall, mechanically, it's great. It runs good. There are some small scuffs on the plastic and things like that for the white parts, but that doesn't affect the performance. As I stated, everything's been kind of gone through with the motor. All the other parts basically are as they were, which are completely functional and it worked. The motor just blew on the last owner. Well, not the last owner. Motor blew, another owner bought it, and he's just not mechanically inclined. So he sent it to me and, wanted, and told me I can fix it. Well, of course, not sent it, but I paid for it. And he had, it came with the cases, if you don't remember for the first video. Well, that was a little hiccup. One of the cases actually was for a WR450. And if you don't know the difference, the yz250 i'm sorry not wr450 the yz250f stator cover looks like this the wr is slightly different because it has a different flywheel in everything so that it can have the starter and the extra gears and this is powder coated this here black that black case is black 
Just got it looking nice and clean out here. Going to do a couple kicks and see if we can get this thing started up for us in a minute. Oh, it looks good. This was the 450 tip. I really don't like how it looks, but it came with it. So I took the 251 off, put the 450 slip on, on, shortened it up a little bit, powder coated it, and made it look really nice. But now it's time to sit down on it and see if we can do a little kick in and get it started. Hopefully it doesn't take too many for the video. There we go sounds great looks good man i mean if i was good on dirt bikes i would keep it but you can ask my brother i suck that's why i have the hybrid yfz 450 wr 478 hybrid it is a monster Alright everyone, thank you for checking out this video. This is the completion of the YZ250F project. So it's going to be going on to its next owner here soon. So I'm going to be posting it for sale. So if any of you all would like it, you know, shoot me an offer. I'm going to be putting it up. I'm not really sure what number yet. And we'll just see where it goes from there. It's time to get the next project rolling.